Hi everybody, welcome back to Charmed Intuition Tarot. So for today's video, I am super excited. We're asking the question, what is coming in? What is coming soon to my love life? So this is if you're single or in a relationship, newly single, it's going to fit for everyone. We'll have different meanings. And we've got three piles. And as you can see here, we have a bit of like a movie date night theme. Love this. I'm really excited for you guys to let me know what you think. So we've got pile one. So basically there's three movie genres here. So if you would like to watch an adventure movie, something really exciting, so think uh, even animated adventure too. So think like Shrek, Toy Story, um, superhero movies, fast paced movies, anything like about adventure, this would be your pile. If you wanted to watch a romantic comedy or something funny, lighthearted, so think like Bridesmaids, Pretty Woman, movies like that, could be either just romantic, just comedy or both then this will be your pile for pile two. And then if you wanna watch something a little more scarier, like a thriller movie, a mystery movie, a crime solving movie, then you're gonna have pile three. And you can also choose by your person's favorite movie genre too. Whatever one is calling to you. If you would wanna watch a movie today, which one would you pick, that kind of thing. And again, it's the coziest day right now. It's super windy out, so it's the perfect day to actually be cozy and watch a movie. And I also have these cards. So these are little movie titles. So we're looking for the themes of the movie in each group. So just because, so say you get Jumanji, it doesn't mean you're gonna get sucked into a board game for 30 years. We're just looking at the themes, the ideas, the imagery throughout the movie to connect to your reading. So this part's more so for fun, so have fun with it. But we also have the charms. We have letters and numbers. So lots of information today. Really excited to hear what you guys think. These kinds of videos are my favorite. These are the kinds I love doing, planning, decorating for. So if you like it, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up. That helps me so much. And subscribe if you haven't already and join the Charmed Intuition family. I really love doing these kinds of readings, like the creative ones. They make me super happy. Uh, so I would love to hear what you guys think. And we will get started with number one. Timestamps will be below. So if you chose adventure movies, then this is your what's coming soon to your love life. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's really windy out. It's really cozy being inside right now with the wind. It's raining. It's super, it's, it's a movie day. So we've got the extra cards. We've got charms. We've got numbers and letters. So lots of information. And I'm really excited to see what your charms say today. So we'll take a look at your cards. <clears throat> so your tarot cards, you have the Knight of Swords. You have the Queen of Cups. And the Knight of Wands, you've got two knights. Actually, all three of your cards are court cards. You've got Honeymoon. Be Here Now. Taking Risks. I am curious about your movie, but I'm just gonna hold off for a second to see what we have first. So two knights being there is interesting. Let's focus on those first. So we've got the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords, swords represent communication, our mind, our thoughts. So this can talk about <clears throat> sudden news or someone sort of flying in with information very suddenly. It's also a change card. It's a movement card. It's about progress. Um, so. That's why, especially the fact that you've got the two fastest moving knights, because you've got the swords and the wands, and the wands is a little bit more whirlwind romance, it's exciting, it's enthusiasm, it's someone sort of sweeping you off your feet. And before I forget, the two knights, the fact that you've got two knights can indicate travel because you do have the honeymoon card. So coming soon to your love life, there might be an opportunity to travel with someone. Oh, that wind is so amazing. I hope you guys can hear that. Oh, I love it. So there could be an opportunity to travel. Let's see what this says. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. <clears throat> so this card in particular, I always think of like that butterfly feeling, that excitement feeling, because you know we know the phrase honeymoon phase, right? So travel, um, leisure, excitement. I'm thinking of possibly too with this, a new phase of a relationship. So if you are in a relationship, it could just be that your partner suddenly out of nowhere has this really exciting idea and because you have the two knights, it could be that two people are fighting for your affection or fighting for your attention. And I love that we've got the Queen of Cups in between because this could represent you. And really, this card's just about following your intuition, following your heart, trusting your gut in a situation. So both scenarios. So if there are two people fighting for your attention, you know, it's really calling for you to trust your intuition, follow your heart. But I'm more so getting excitement, movement, travel. I'm getting like 
sudden, sudden excitement or opportunities possibly for you and your partner or someone new coming in and sort of just sweeping you off your feet. And we have that too with the taking risks card. So this card, oh, let's just take a closer look here. So with this card in particular, I'm just sort of thinking adventure, same same kind of thing, or trying something new. But I think with this, it's just telling you to be open to this, be open to what's new, be open to the excitement. Very cool. Then we have be here now. So this just says to attract more love, abundance, and joy into your life, allow yourself to live more fully in the present moment. Take it easy and enjoy the process. Find more time for fun and playfulness. Reconnect and rediscover your passions in life, doing the things you love. So the word passion jumps out at me because we have the wands card. I just sort of think that's saying enjoy the moment. Um, like I think enjoy whatever this is, I think is a really good thing. Sometimes when we see the Knight of Swords, it can be abrupt change or it can sometimes mean conflict, which again is sort of making me think two people might be a bit competitive. But overall, the cards that we have with it are more so just making me think excitement, but very sudden out of the blue, someone possibly contacting you very suddenly, being like, let's go on a date, let's go to the beach, let's do this. Like something exciting, something fun. So let's see what kind of movie themes will be present in your love life in the, in the near future. Pi oh, okay, well, adventure, hello. Oh, wow. Okay, so Johnny Depp, there you go. I'm gonna get one more. But Pirates of the Caribbean, and look at the boat imagery, more travel imagery. And that's interesting too because I I don't I haven't seen those movies in a long time but I'm pretty sure Elizabeth the main character well there's the main guy that she wants to be with but there are there is a bit of that competitiveness in that movie isn't there comment below and help me out there with that movie because it's been a long time because I'd love to hear what themes make sense with that. The Little Mermaid okay more ocean imagery more water makes sense with the Pirates of the Caribbean. So that's interesting. So in the movie, The Little Mermaid, that's all about adventure. In fact, I have a Little Mermaid charm. I'd be really interested to see if we get that today because it's about curiosity and adventure. And you know, Prince Eric sort of comes into her life out of nowhere. She's also craving adventure too. So it could mean that maybe you've been craving some excitement, some adventure with someone. So again, this applies if you're in a relationship or not. If you're in a relationship, it could mean that your partner has sudden like really exciting ideas or you see a new side of your partner that's exciting and enthusiastic about love. Or if you're single, it could just mean someone's sort of, sort of gonna sweep you off your feet almost and to enjoy it, take risks, enjoy. And then for the few of you, it could be that someone's sort of fighting for your attention but I'm very excited to see what your charms have to say. So let's take a look. Just put these here. I love the water imagery. There's so much because you've got Queen of Cups. You had the honeymoon card, which was the water in the boat. You have the Little Mermaid and Pirates of the Caribbean. So very cool. Maybe it's a friend coming in that's attracted to you. That's interesting. Okay, we'll get your letters first. I just wanna put the words. We've got have, friend, gentle, lots of words, dream, am, time, out, and another am. Oh, anchor, more of that water imagery. Boats, <laughs> there's some, definitely with boats because there was boats in The Little Mermaid, there's boats in The Pirates of the Caribbean, and there's a boat here. So boats are relevant to you in your love life for some reason. Maybe you're going sailing with someone, maybe you're going on a cruise with someone eventually. Let's take a look at your numbers. So these numbers could be dates, they could be Lucky numbers, so we've got five, two, six, and three. Get you a few letters too. And I'll raise these up so you guys can take a closer look. So you have U, get my arm out of the way for you, U, E, Q. I'm seeing queen already. 
Okay, queen. What is with this queen? I'm seeing queen already, and then we just got more. Oops. O. L. Let's get these organized for you. C. T. I. So even though we didn't get, oh, we did. Wow. Okay. So we're seeing the word queen and it's so funny that that showed up immediately. So queen. Okay. So I'll put your words and numbers and letters over here because you guys are so good at helping me find words. But the anchor is jumping out at me again because of that boat imagery. The hand is about someone reaching out, someone saying something. It's like an offer. So someone could be making a romantic offer to you. Think of the aces as well with the hand. So new beginnings of some kind. We've got the, you know what I'm finding interesting? Because you've got the cage, which is about freedom and you have taking risks. This is making me think of freedom too. So there's a lot of a freedom element to your love life coming in. Now it doesn't mean you're going to be single. If you're in a relationship, don't worry. It doesn't mean you're going to be, I mean, if that's what you want, that could be, but it just means a sense of freedom, a, a sense of excitement. And I think a lot of us are craving that. We've been in the house, most of us for months at a time now. So maybe it's just that you're, you're going to feel free. You're going to feel excited, enthusiastic about different things you can do with someone. So we've got the clear heart, which is about openness and honesty. It makes sense because we have that queen of cups. So you being honest with yourself, being honest with someone, someone sharing their feelings with you. We have the four of cups. Okay, that makes sense. The four of cups is about boredom. That's what I think is happening because we have emotionally unavailable. We've got the boredom and that's sort of like, it's a little bit like feeling bad for yourself or kind of like, eh, like it's a bit of a meh card, the four of cups. So what I'm thinking is you're feeling a little bit bored. You're craving this excitement. I think you're, you're welcoming this excitement and this new enthusiastic opportunities that are coming in. I think you're ready for adventure. I think you're ready to take risks either with your partner or with someone um, and taking risks, meaning just being open to adventure, trying something new, um, you know, doing something fun. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. So we have the unicorn. The unicorn can represent unique opportunities. It can represent confidence in yourself. It can it just uniqueness is always what I think. Um, rare opportunities as well. We have another four. So we've got, put that with the numbers. So five, two, three, six, and four. Oh, the anchor is so interesting. I think the anchor is, you know what that quote's just popping into my head is, you know, ships are safe at shore, but that's not what ships were built for. So maybe it's just that you are craving excitement. And with that boat imagery that we keep getting, I think is, is so cool. We've got the lucky horseshoe, which is just about luck, feeling lucky. It's very similar to like nine of cups energy. It's like wishes coming true, feeling lucky, feeling like luck is on your side. Oh, we've got the closed locket. This makes me think that someone does have secret feelings for you. And with the friend charm, for those of you that are going to be dealing with two people sort of wanting your attention. It could be that one's a friend, one's someone, you know what I mean? It could just be that two people, one of them or both of them being a friend, have feelings for you, secret feelings for you too. And they could be sharing that with the Knight of Swords energy. They could be opening up and sharing that. Okay, so we've got the little squirrel. That's about hard work and planning, um, saving as well. So it could be that maybe you're having to save for a vacation because we're getting a lot of vacation energy here with pretty much a lot of the cards because the we've got the travel energy here we have travel because you have the chariot which is travel and travel plus all of the boat imagery pirates of the caribbean travel little mermaid travel and this is like someone experiencing excitement that she's never even known before so very cool i'm just trying to see what else we have here before i this is all about like confidence as well. You've got a lot about confidence in yourself and, and um, feeling brave as well. So the glue gun is about attachments, okay? Cause it's like, it's about what we're attached to or people we're attached to. So it could be that someone is like carrying feelings from you for a long time, or there's an attachment to someone. 
So this little charm represents problem solving. So t untangling a situation, figuring something out. So it could be that maybe you're feeling like you're in a bit of a rut romantically, which I mean, who everyone is right now, honestly, especially if you're, if you're single right now, because we haven't been able to go out and meet new people. There's no functions happening. There's no events happening. So it is hard. So don't be hard on yourself just because you know, you can't meet someone right now because you do have excitement coming. That's what's coming soon to you is excitement, adventure, enthusiasm, like travel, um, leisure, a new phase, like that butterfly feeling with the, with the honeymoon card. Like this is all excitement and travel is definitely an aspect for you. Okay. So we can't forget that. And especially boats for some reason, boats and you are, it goes hand in hand when it comes to love right now. So it could be, you know, we have to sometimes think outside of the box. So it could be um, the beach. It could be, you know, something like that. The ocean, like it could just be, there could be imagery there that is significant to you for a specific reason. So with the glue gun, we also have this, this charm always reminds me of someone having the key to your heart or vice versa, like someone being attached to you or fe having feelings for you and like not wanting to let go. So with the friend charm, that's definitely a bit of an undertone today. The strawberry is all about surprises as well, but enjoying the little things in life too. Those little moments, I think that's what is going to be happening. So we've got the little, little crystal ball with the little fortune teller there. So that is planning for the future, but like not like being open to the unknown, being no, being open to excitement and fun. Oh, that wind is magic. Oh, I love it. But yeah, being open to like what what the universe wants to give you. And I think that's what you're ready for is excitement and fun. The chariot too can indicate being pulled in two different directions. So there definitely is that element with the two knights. Now it's not gonna resonate that way for everyone, but it could be that two people are fighting for your attention. You're being pulled in two different directions, but just remember the advice, just follow your heart, trust your intuition. And then we've got the travel aspect, the boats. We've got the taking risks, excitement, you know, more boats. <laughs> more boats, the anchor, be here now. So just enjoy it. It's saying, enjoy, you know, take it easy, enjoy the process, find time for fun and playfulness. So enjoy this time. I think maybe it could be that maybe you, you, you don't want to take things so seriously. You just want to have some fun. You want to get to know someone, you know, do exciting things. So reconnect and rediscover your passions in life, doing the things you love. So that's what I see for you. Adventure, passion, enthusiasm, travel, Group one, this is really excited. I'm very excited excited for you. I hope that this comes true for you and you have excitement and fun. I would love to hear if it resonates down below in the comments and we will see you next time. Hi group two, so if you decided on romantic comedies or funny movies, then this is your message. So we're gonna look at your cards. We also have these extra movie cards. We've got charms, letters, numbers, lots of information. I'm really excited to see what your charms have to say in particular today because of the theme. I think there'll be a lot of symbolism there. You can hear the wind it's really it's like a cozy day it's the kind of day where you would want to watch a movie so i love that so we'll get to your movie card in just a minute first let's see what you have so you have you have the magician the chariot and judgment Actually, that is cool because the last group had all court cards. You have all major arcana. So you're experiencing some major themes in your love life coming soon. So you have illumination. And I picked these cards because they almost look like snapshots from a movie. We have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And embrace love. And I'll read that in just a moment. First, let's look at your tarot cards. Let's just this down just a bit there okay so magician i love this is one of my favorite magician cards and this card is about confidence this is about um, magic manifestation feeling in control of a situation so because you've got the chariot and judgment this is major in your love life right now you've got the three major arcanas like you're going through a major change i think because of the chariot uh, but i'll get to that in a second the magician i feel like you've been manifesting someone I feel like you and somebody have a magical connection. There's a spiritual connection. So it could be that you have similar spiritual beliefs or it could just be that you feel connected to them on a very magical level. This is when you dream of someone and you feel like, it's sort of hard to explain. If you felt it, you know, but this is like, 
magic. You feel like it's just, um, it's just different. So I like this. Then we have the chariot. So that I'm finding this interesting because you have the chariot, which can sometimes be about being pulled in two different directions. So the key with the chariot is to trust yourself, you know, trust your decision making, trust your intuition, trust your ability to make a decision that's best for you. So you may be feeling a bit conflicted right now. So this is a bit of a problem solving card. But the thing with the chariot is, is once you make up your mind about something, that confidence is there. Okay, she looks very confident. Um, it looks like she, you know, has already made up her mind. So it could be that you've already made up your mind, which makes sense because you have the judgment card. Judgment is all about self analysis. It's about realizations, like major realizations that can bring about change. So making a choice to make a change or just making a choice about yourself, your relationships. Um, so that's what I, I think. I think you're going to be receiving some answer to possibly something you have been maybe doubtful of or questioning perhaps. And then with the magician card, I think you're going to feel a lot more confident about whatever the situation is very soon. That's what's coming soon is confidence for sure, especially because of the chariot and the magician. Confidence is major here. And then also major decisions, like following your following what you really want, having a realization about something or someone. So I'm really curious what movie we have. So I'm going to pull one before we even get to the Oracle card. When Harry Met Sally. Ooh, interesting. That makes a lot of sense. Um, I've only seen that movie once. So if anyone wants to help me out in the comments with more themes that would connect that I might miss. But I'm fairly sure that that movie is about longtime friends that, ooh, okay, this is interesting. I think this connects with like being pulled in two different directions and making a realization because I'm fairly certain that that movie is about longtime friends that eventually end up deciding that they should be together. Ice Age. Okay, so Ice Age, what I think about with Ice Age is a period of like nothing happening and then something like making a decision. Um, so. I would love to hear in the comments what themes from these movies connect with what we've gotten so far though, especially when Harry met Sally. Ice Age is a little bit more humorous. I think that's just saying whatever this is, it's been a long time coming. Like this is something that you've been wanting to happen for a long time. Um, so I just think of long periods of like nothing with Ice Age. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so give your relationship a chance. So work on your partnership. So if you're single, this could mean you're going to be giving somebody a chance, making the decision to give someone an honest chance or making a realization about a relationship that you want to really try. Um, it could be if you're in a relationship too, you're making the decision to truly commit or work on something with someone. Maybe you, your realization was about that. So embrace love, make space for another, accept the connection for what it is, embrace new opportunities and embrace the blessings around you. Allow yourself to be open and vulnerable. Through embracing vulnerability, you will find strength. Open your heart to accept and receive, oh, I love that. Okay, to accept and receive more love. <clears throat> so maybe you're ready, maybe you're in a place where you're ready to have more love in your life, have a connection with someone. So I think you being ready and manifesting that is actually bringing it in. But there is definitely an element to like you making up your mind about something in your love life. So we have illumination. So what I find super interesting, so I just like looking closely to see if I'm missing anything. So immediately what I'm seeing is reflection. So that makes sense with sort of like the self realization or self reflection of the judgment card, self analysis. I'm seeing the reflection here. It's also quite foggy. So that to me indicates confusion. Whenever I see fog, it's about confusion. So it could be that you're trusting your intuition about something or something is gonna become clearer with that realization. The word ideas is coming into my head. Yeah, very nice, very cool. So I'm really excited to see what your charms have to say about this. But so far, our major themes are about you being possibly pulled in two different directions and making up your mind. So that's what's coming soon is a realization, a decision. There definitely is a friendship aspect to this. So this could be someone that you're friends with. This could be someone you have a long history with. Ice Age, again, would indicate a long period of time where nothing was happening. Um, so that's... 
that's what I'm getting from that. But again, I would love your input about this movie because I've only seen it once. So I'd love to hear what you have to say. And let's take a look at your charms and your numbers and see what, see what we get. And I thank you in advance for helping me with the words, guys. It's always so helpful. Few numbers, and I'll, I'll get these closer to so we can take a closer look. Lots of letters. Okay, so X could be someone you have history with. So PG. Okay, so we got P, G, D, E, X, I, another E, another E, another E. So four E's, that's interesting. Lots of vowels. There are more vowels in this set anyways, but so S and T. So I'll let you guys find the words. For numbers, we've got a 10, we have a 12, we have a 5, Another five, three, and a two. Okay, let's take a look at your charm. Oh, time. Look at that. With the Ice Age. Time and Ice Age. This makes sense. So this has been a long time coming. That's just a confirmation for me. Okay, so you have um, this. It's a tower. I don't look at it like the tower energy, though. I look at it more as perspective and foundation. Um, but it can mean sudden change as well. We have popcorn, which is so cute because of the theme of our reading today. This is about abundance and something happening very quickly as well. So that's kind of what I'm thinking is going on is whatever this is, it's going to happen sort of suddenly. And I think the abundance message is important with magician because I think, again, you're manifesting someone. And I think this is a relationship where you really, I think you're, you're ready for like long term, either with the person that you're with, with the give your relationship a chance card or you're wanting to really give somebody a chance. You're, you're willing to give someone the honest chance. Um, so there's definitely that element to this. Bottled up feelings also makes me think of Harry Met Sally, like friendship. So we've got beauty, time. Make time is an interesting little phrase. We have she, so maybe they think you're very beautiful. If you identify as female, Either way, I think they can find beauty in anyone. Oh, we've got roller coasters. So Aquarius, play. The she could be talking about you if you identify as female, or it could be talking about your significant other, or it could be talking about, it's gonna be different for each of you. But uh, I'll put these separately because I think the beauty, I think they find you beautiful because of this one too. This one's all about like someone being attracted to you and trying to impress you. So we've got the Aquarius. Play is interesting because that's just sort of making me think of like the fun, like embracing love, like this card talked about, like having fun playing. We've got the little pizza. So the pizza can be about only seeing one piece of the full story of the full picture. Or, you know, sometimes we have to read charms literally too. It could mean that the two of you are gonna go for pizza. <laughs> that could be a clue, right? Cause some charms are really personal. That's why I always invite you guys to read with me because sometimes you might know exactly what this hot air balloon is talking about. Whereas for everyone else, it might mean perspective, you know, a wide angle view of things. So we have the five of cups. Um, so there is a bit of like disappointment in the situation or a feeling of loss or like possibly a fear of missing out. We've got the two of wands. Oh, wow. Okay. So two of wands is making me think of like, you're in planning stages of like your life perhaps, or just, or you're looking ahead anyway, you're looking ahead into your life, you're figuring out what it is that you want. You know, it could be possibly that you're planning on saying something to someone or someone's planning on saying something to you, but it's a foresight card. And there is someone, like someone has something to say to you. There's definitely a bit of intense emotions happening here. Got the little carousel here, so we've got at. 
the roller coaster is interesting. It's making me think of a roller coaster of emotions. So maybe this has been in a really emotional situation with the Five of Cups, possibly. We've got the Knight of Cups, too. So that's about someone making an offer. Uh, that makes sense, too, because I think someone's going to... Um, I think someone really cares about you, but you maybe haven't made your decision up about them. Or if you're in a relationship, it could just be that someone's going to share more openly their feelings with you. The little wine glass can indicate celebration sometimes. It can also... Um, talk about an offer similar to like the ace of cups we've got travel indications and, and more tower energy so you've got like the eiffel tower and then you have this tower that wind is so beautiful so we have the carousel what's interesting is we've got like rides too there's lots of like carnival rides so we've got roller coaster a carousel but also roller coaster of emotions and a carousel, like feeling like you're going through the same thing over and over and over again with someone. It could be that you're ready to get off that carousel and make something, you know, either make something, make a, a true attempt at something or give something a chance or someone a chance possibly. But this always makes me think of someone having a lot to say to you. Like someone wants to text you a lot. They want to send you one of those big long texts of how they feel. And I think you definitely, with the ghost, you definitely have history with this person. You guys have a past, which makes sense. Harry met Sally, they have history together. Ice Age, this is all about history. So the word history is jumping out at me with the ghost too. The two of you have history. You guys have a connection that's like long term. So it's going to be different kind of scenarios for each of you, but that theme should run true. So the horse can be about freedom and momentum. This one in particular is about overcoming hurdles or obstacles. The popcorn's abundant, so make time at beauty. Okay, bubbling up of emotions. A very cool, I would really love to hear a group too if this resonates, if this makes sense with your situation. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, I know this one was a little bit different. These are my favorite kinds of readings where I can just be creative and do different things. So I would love to hear what you think. I hope you guys have an awesome day and we'll see you Hi, next three. time. So if you chose scary movies, mystery movies, thriller movies, then this is your love message. I'm really excited to see what you got. We've had some really cool answers. If you can hear the wind, it's literally like the perfect movie day. The wind is just really beautiful. So we have these cards as well. We're going to find out what themes to look out for coming soon. We have your charms. We've got letters, numbers. So I'm very excited to see what we get. So we'll just open up your DVD here. So we have the Three of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. We have Let Your Friends Help You, Wisdom, Divine Intervention, so I'll pull your movie in just a minute, but first let's take a look here. So the Three of Wands, this is a card about patience, about waiting for results of something. Um, and this is like thinking long term. So I always think of like giving something time. It can be referred to sometimes as the ships coming in. So seeing results of something, seeing, seeing the bigger picture, thinking long term. So maybe that's where you are. Maybe you're, you're looking ahead now. Maybe you're thinking about what you really want in life. So we have the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is a card all about transition um, and overcoming challenges, overcoming particularly emotional challenges. Even though it's a Swords card, the water would represent our emotions. Um, what I find super interesting is you've got Let Your Friends Help You. And sometimes this card can talk about receiving help from someone to overcome something that's challenging. So definitely you're going through some changes. I think you're doing some thinking. I think you're looking ahead now. And I think you're really sort of maybe deciding what you really want. I think you're probably overcoming some challenges. But what I love is you've got the Nine of Cups. This is like the wish card. It's a card about fulfillment and happiness and feeling like you have what you wanted. This card can sometimes mean that something's going to turn out better than you would even hoped, or you're just going to be really satisfied with what happens. Um, sometimes in love readings, it can talk about many people being interested in you. So lots of people expressing interest. Um, so perhaps maybe you're going through a transition from a relationship and you're newly single. Um, so it could indicate that people are going to be very interested in you. 
but it also just, I think more so what I'm getting is you're, you want to transition or make a change into something more fulfilling. Even though we didn't get the Eight of Cups, that's kind of the energy I'm feeling right now. And with the transition energy, I think you are thinking long term. I think you really want to have a fulfilling relationship. And to me, this is just saying like, stick by that. Like, don't back down from that, from that, um, from that hope because I see you getting it. In fact, I see you feeling very fulfilled, really, really happy. But what's interesting here is you have divine intervention. So you are being redirected from relationships and situations that no longer serve you. So maybe you've been sensing something, um, maybe someone you've been interested in, or maybe you have someone in your past that's been like lingering in your mind and you're finally ready to kind of transition from that onto something more fulfilling. So trust that things happen for greater divine purpose. Any rejection you face, see it as redirection. You are being redirected to something greater for you. Let go of the need to understand or make sense of it. Everything is unfolding as it should. So I like that. It's To me, that's just everything's happening the way it should. So patience is definitely a key here um, because you are, you're being redirected somewhere. Things are sort of pointing you in the direction that you're supposed to be. I think that this is happening the way it's supposed to happen so that you can reach this fulfillment. So then we have wisdom. And it's interesting, one of the other groups got the Little Mermaid. So I'm surprised that uh, they didn't have this card. But really, wisdom, this is just about learning through your through the experiences that you go through. Um, I think, too, this is like diving deep into your emotions. That wind is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I hope you can hear it. But diving deep into your emotions, um, figuring out what makes you really happy. I think you're in a bit of a reflection stage, possibly, or really sort of thinking long term or trying to manifest someone, something really meaningful. And I'm just thinking of like diving deep into your emotions, discovering things about yourself possibly. So then you have let your friends help you. So this card can come up sometimes if someone's going to introduce you to someone or it has come up when people have transformed or transitioned from friends to something more romantic. Um, but it just says ask for and accept support from others. So ask for advice, ask for help. Um, because remember, the Six of Swords can talk about receiving help from someone to transition. So maybe you're going through something painful, you just need to talk to a friend about it, um, receiving advice from friends, talking to friends about it. But I almost think that someone, I feel like, okay, this is what I think is gonna happen. This is rather specific, but I think you are transitioning, for some of you, transitioning from someone. And everything's sort of happening the way it's supposed to happen to direct you to the person that you're going to meet, either through your friends, through your colleagues, introduced to through friends. I think it's going to be, it, it's, it feels very like this is meant to be so that you can get to this Nine of Cups feeling. All of this sort of stuff beforehand needs to happen the way it's supposed to happen. The redirection, the transition, the bit of like challenging situation, um, the wisdom that you've gained. I think you've gained experience like from your life and your experiences with people and your relationships. Let's see what kind of movie themes we can look out for. And remember this part's more so just, it's not literal. It's just sort of the themes or the title. Titanic, Beauty and the Beast. Okay, oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, the boat, number one Titanic. And no, it doesn't mean you're gonna be on a boat, but it means, so in the movie, Rose is married or engaged to Cal, and she doesn't really love him. She, she's not really happy with where her life is headed. She's thinking, okay, this is not what I wanted. You know, she's starting to see how her life is, is turning out and she's not really feeling fulfilled. So there's that transition phase. This is crazy. Um, and then she finds Jack. So everything that happened up until her life is what guided her to Jack. And again, it doesn't mean it's gonna end the way Titanic ended, of course not. It's just the themes. So you are being directed from someone, Cal, to your, your like true love, feeling fulfilled, that full fulfillment. Um, love that, and then Beauty and the Beast. So in that movie, as I'm sure you've seen it, um, Belle is sort of feeling like unsatisfied with her, like her life. And she's got that guy, uh, Gaston is interested in her. She's not really interested in him. Um, and she wants to, you know, find something. She doesn't want Gaston. So she ends up finding the castle, um, the situation, obviously, at the beginning is not ideal, but things transform, things transition. Um, she receives help from friends in the movie. You know what I mean? Like, these themes are kind of ringing true, especially Titanic. Just the fact, like, 
maybe you were headed in one direction and then you, you wanted to redirect, you were redirected. So if you're in a relationship and you're thinking, okay, how does this, how does this fit in? And you're happy in your relationship. It could just mean that you and your partner are going through a transition together onto something more fulfilling, onto something better. Um, you're discovering things about yourself possibly. It could be that Beauty and the Beast has more to do with the people in a relationship and Titanic might have more to do with the people that are ending a relationship or coming out of a relationship or single. So I would love to hear your theme ideas with the movies, like what you think connects, um, because I could talk all day about, like I could go through the whole three hour Titanic and try and find connections here. So I would love to hear what you think. Definitely that water energy, so emotional energy, boat, 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 um, you know, water. So water is a really prevalent theme today anyways, which of course, I mean, we're doing a love reading, so it's very emotional, but really excited to see what your charms have to say too. But yeah, I would love to hear your connections with the movies. And there's lots of like friends helping you in both of these movies, to be honest. And Belle and the Beast, I mean, they're, they're relationship transitions and then eventually they overcome challenges together. Six of swords. Oh, direction. Oh, new beginnings, the door. Oh, proposals possibly, more boat imagery. The boat thing has been big today. Direction, oh, I'm so excited to see what letters you get to. Scorpio, we have an ace or a one. Learning, oh, wisdom, look at this, the school bus. This represents education. It also represents wisdom, learning experiences, learning through life, transitions. This is interesting. But before I forget, let's get your letters and your numbers. So letters could be initials, and sometimes they spell out words. So we have jet, wet, water is wet. We've got a lot of boat imagery. A, N, V, O, N, okay. Okay, so live, will, more Scorpio energy, double Scorpio here from, okay, let's get your numbers too. And I'll raise these up so you can get a close look too. So your numbers, so you have nine, excuse my arm for a sec guys, nine, one, 12, Another one, nine one one. Two, another one. You have four ones. And thirteen. Eleven eleven. Ooh, eleven eleven guys. Twin flame energy. Okay. Soulmate energy. Okay, so let's take a look here. So the anchor is very interesting, especially with the Titanic card that we got. Loyalty, friendship and loyalty with the dog. This makes sense with the friendship card that we got. Letting your friends help you. So it could be that a friend is gonna be very pivotal in your love life. They're gonna make a, a major difference somehow by either introducing you to someone or something like that. We've got the two joker cards, which is about like sense of humor. So it could be that your sense of humor is matched because you have both of them. We have the angel. The angel's just making me think of like things are, are it's almost like, where's that card? The divine intervention it's making me think like this is happening you might it might not make sense while it happens but it's happening for a reason it's redirecting you it feels like divine intervention with this angel as well so the teardrop the crystal teardrop is about things making you stronger so that makes sense with wisdom too you know like we were saying earlier we we grow through what we go through so it could be that you've gone through experiences and they've made you stronger, which would make sense with the Six of Swords. You're stronger for it. This is also Tears of Joy, someone pointed out, and I, I liked that interpretation. I love hearing what you guys think about charms. So this could indicate you, could be representative of you or a friend possibly. So there, that means there could be a clue on this board about who this person is that might help you if it doesn't represent you. We have the arrow, which is like for, forward, forward direction, moving forward. 
sometimes that's, you know, we get pulled back in order to, to propel forward as well. So that could be the setback that you experienced. We have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles makes me always think in, in a love reading about like long-term um, reliable relationship, like in, or looking at a relationship as an investment, looking long-term. So that's what I think is happening is you are looking long-term. You want to move on from something so that you can kind of move ahead in life and, and feel that fulfillment and be fully happy. I'm just gonna raise these up so you can get a nice look. So we've got the engagement ring. So that could be a clue for some of you. Some of you might be proposed to possibly because we do have celebration there as well. Message in a bottle. So there's more information coming in about this matter that you're unaware of right now. So there's more information coming in. Usually that's something someone has to, like they have to say to you. The door is about transitions too, moving through new phases. So you've gotten tons of transition message. So lots of changes happening in your love life. But again, it's leading to this. This is what it's leading to. So it's a good change. Even though it might feel kind of confusing with the divine intervention, like you're like, well, why did that have to happen? It's happening for a reason. It's happening to get you to your final destination, your, your goal of like being fully happy. So we've got the five of wands. So that can be a bit of like a combat card as far as like, it can be competition. It can feel like you're sort of not agreeing with people or just feeling like it could be in a relationship possibly. Maybe you're, you're overcoming challenges with someone and working some things out because the five of, the five of wands can be productive. It's just about debates or, or working things out. It's not always um, negative. It can just be about having to like having to have that discussion that isn't always fun in order to transition possibly. You've got a bit about retreat and vacationing, taking a time out possibly. The roller skates about momentum and kind of feeling uneasy at first, but then gaining momentum. Again with that double Scorpio here. I'm a double Scorpio sign, so that's interesting. Okay. So this crystal ball is making me think again about looking ahead into the future. I always think of that as the crystal ball charm. So foresight. Very cool. So this is what I'm thinking, guys. I think what's happening is you're going through changes. Now, whether you're in a relationship, going through changes with your significant other, or if you're single, newly single, going, planning on being single, you're going through a transition. But this change, this change and all of the things that are happening that might feel kind of like odd when it's happening is actually leading you to your fulfillment, your happiness. In the meantime, accept help and advice from friends, talk to friends. It could be too that a friend is going to introduce you to someone. Um, so I find that really interesting, that connection there. And then with the Titanic and the Beauty and the Beast, both of these things, or both of these themes, I should say, the Beauty and the Beast, like at first things are like not looking very bright, right? And eventually through transformation, transition, change, education, wisdom, everything changes and the beauty and the beast lived happy, you know, happily ever after. And then Titanic, I think that's more talking about transition from someone transitions in your life to being happy, regardless of, it's just about that feeling of like, I think about Rose, how she appeared to have it all, but she just wasn't happy. So that's what I think you're going through right now. Possibly you're just thinking about, okay, how can I change this within my relationship or how can I go for what I really, really want? And again, I'm feeling eight of cups, even though we didn't get that, I am feeling it. So group three, I would really love to hear what you thought of this reading. I had a lot of fun with it. I love doing the creative reads the best. They make me happy. I just love this kind of thing. So I would love to hear if you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd love for you to share with friends because um, these are the readings that I enjoy the most. So I'm really, really excited about this one. I'm excited to hear what you think and we will see you next time.